welcome back to my channel. Today we're having a look at the second of our advent calendars for 2022. So today, I wasn't planning on doing this one, but I'm already having trouble sourcing advent calendars in Australia. Australia is terrible for advent calendars. But today we're having a look at the Body Shop advent calendar. So this is the Box of Wishes and Wonders Ultimate advent calendar. It cost two, it cost $260 and it's got a value of $404. So last year I got the, this is the calendar that I got, the big body shop calendar, and that's the first advent calendar I've ever had. So I'm pretty excited to see what's in this, in the, this time. So this is a 25 day advent calendar. Let's have a look. So it's got three drawers and this cute little scene at the top. I have no idea how I'm going to find these things, but we'll see. Oh, it's got little tabs. How cute is that? Oh my goodness, these drawers are massive. They're really hard to find the numbers. Found day one, treasure hunt complete. Okay, day number one. It's got a cute little rim. So for day number one, we've got a shower cream avocado for dry skin, skin green and creamy. Quite a thick texture. Mm, kind of smells like avocado, yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. It's gonna be such an adventure finding all these numbers. Ah, day two. And day two. This one's very light. Got a massive box for a tiny product. Oh, I do like this though. This is the Body Shop Chamomile Cleansing but Butter. This is actually one of my favorite products that we got last year in the advent calendar. It's really good for getting off eye makeup. You just put like a little bit on a cotton ground and rub it on your eye and the makeup comes off super easy. So it's just a clear balm texture. It smells quite nice too. Day three. So for day three, we've got a Elderweiss liquid peel with this acid in it. I can't pronounce that. Mm, smells very fresh. Doesn't say how to use it. So we'll have to look on the website and see. It would be nice if they had like all of the, all of the num like the first ones and the second ones and the third ones rather than having them all spread out. I and mean, it does make a fun adventure during Christmas, but for this it's hard. Aha, it is at the top. Day four. I love all this green packaging. Green's my favorite color and I, yeah, I love it all. Oh, it's so little and cute again. So we've got for day four, we've got a mango hand balm. We got a few of these ones last year as well and they were really lovely. They make my hands feel really nicely hydrated. I gave away all the rose ones that we got. I hope we don't get too much rose in this calendar. Oh, it smells delicious. Quite a thick texture. They do leave your hands really lovely and nourished. I don't know about 96 hours, but certainly lasts overnight. This one's got a little megaphone on it. Also a heavy one. Oh, okay. So for day five, we've got a Boost Exfoliating Hand Wash. I've never heard of an exfoliating hand wash before. Mandarin and bergamot. I'm assuming I can smell the bergamot. I can't smell the mandarin. It doesn't, it's not that citrusy. It'd be nice to exfoliate my hands and then cream them up with the mango. It's another heavy box. It's <laughs> coming out the bottom. Ooh. So for day six, we've got a Moringa shampoo for dull hair. My hair, oh, my hair's fairly shiny. It's not that dull. We got a shampoo and conditioner last time from the body shop as well, and I quite liked it. Sorry about that, guys. I had a visitor. So I think we were talking about the shampoo. Hmm, kind of sweet floral, but not actually floral. I don't know. Smells good. I don't know what the Moringa smells like, but I assume this is what Moringa smells like, but it smells good. I'd be happy for my hair to smell like that. Hopefully we get the conditioner as well. Day seven, we're up to, oh, day seven's tiny. Look how cute a little itty bitty it is. It's a little lip balm. Uh, born lippy, strawberry. Oh, it smells good. Just a lip balm. I've still got some of these left over from last year. I've got so many lip balms in all these boxes. I can never go through them all. So I might put um, the lip balms that we get in a giveaway. We'll see how we go. Do you guys like the lip balms from the body shop? I quite like them. I think coconut's my favorite, but I like strawberry as well. I'm terrible at finding these numbers. Oh, it's a huge box, but it feels empty. What is that? Oh, it's like a little loofah thing tied together. And you try to get a new loofah each year. So this is awesome to get it in the advent calendar. I have the one from last year still, so it would be nice to replace it. Seems like it will be fairly scrubby. It's good exfoliating. Awesome. Gosh, day nine is heavy. Oh, awesome. We got the conditioner to go with the shampoo. Mm, has that same smell. 
I don't, I don't know how to subscribe, describe it. Have you guys smelt Moringa before? This one's got a little postage stamp on it. It's cute. Another heavy box. This calendar weighed so much. <laughs> it's huge. Ah, uh, so day, day 10, we've got a vitamin E hydrating toner. We had one of these last year as well. I haven't actually used it yet. I might put this one in a giveaway as well. Mm, it smells really nice. I love the pink packaging on it. It's really beautiful packaging. I just don't use toner that much. Although I have started using, we got a spray bottle toner in a different um, subscription box and I've been really using, I've been loving that one. So maybe I'll get into it once I finish that toner. Another really light one. Ah, uh, that makes sense. We've got a sheet mask. Uh, vitamin E quench sheet mask for hydrated, softer, smoother skin. I quite like the Body Shop face masks. They leave your skin look feeling really lovely. They recommend using it for four weeks, which is only one mask. That's not gonna last four weeks. But it gives you a try to see if it's good or not. I like the picture on this one. Day 12. Ooh. So for day 12, we've got a mango bath blend. We had a berry one of these last year and it was amazing. It's got mango seed oil, mango seed oil, carrot and passion fruit extract. This is gonna smell amazing. It smells amazing. You can really smell the passion fruit. I love a good bath and this makes bath so much fun. My children might steal it from me though. Have to keep it away from the children. Day 13's got a cute little Christmas tree on it. Oh. Got a present for my friend. We've got a British Rose body yogurt. The body yogurt's a really lovely moisturizer. We got a mango one I think last year, which is really lovely to use, but I hate the scent of rose, so. This one will be going to my friend. It's very thick jelly texture. Oh, yeah. Smells like a present. Hopefully that's our only thing with rose in it because yeah, definitely not my favorite. Oh, I found day 14 earlier. I know where that one is. No, I don't. Aha. Oh, it's another cute little one. Day 14. Another giant box for a tiny product. Oh, it's a lip care stick. I didn't know they did stick lip balms in almond milk, also very light. We've got a little dome. I think these ones are cognac sponge, Con cognac sponge. Once again, I don't really know how to use it. Um, we got one of these last year as well, so I'll have to look on the website and see. My one last year, I used it once and then my girls took it and it disappeared. I don't know what happened to it, but I think these are quite good for exfoliation. Oh, 16's on the top. Day 16. Oh, I love this stuff. So we've got, for day 16, we've got the Body Shop Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Glow Mask. So it's really thick and it's really lovely mask. It smells okay, it smells clean. But yeah, this stuff made my skin feel so lovely after and I feel like really clean. I, I loved using this last time, it was great. Would have preferred a bigger size, I only get a couple of uses out of this, but still nice to have. I mean, you're paying $260, there's quite a few small sizes in here. I mean, there's quite a few large sizes as well, like the full size shampoo and conditioner, and I would like a large mask, <laughs> just because I love masks so much. Day 17's another big box. Ooh, we've got a shower gel. For day 17, we've got a shower gel in pink grapefruit. So we got a shower cream earlier, and now a shower gel. Mmm, that smells so good. I love fruity, zingy, zesty smells. I like the Body Shop shower gels. They're quite nice to use as well. They don't leave your skin feeling really dry or anything like that. So they feel quite nice and hydrating after. Grapefruit smells delicious. Ooh, another one on the top. For day 18, we've got a sugar body scrub in mango. Oh, that smells really good as well. Doesn't smell that much like mango. It smells artificial mango. One lovely thing about the Body Shop is all the smells are smelled so good, except for rose. But other than rose, all the smells smell good. Ooh, last one from our bottom drawer. I hope I remember to stop looking in it. I'm, <laughs> I've got a terrible memory. I'll probably still try to find them in the bottom drawer. But another big box for day 19. So for day 19, we've got a body lotion to oil in avocado. This one only offers 72 hours of moisture. Most of the body shop things are 90, over 90 hours. Yep, that classic avocado body shop smell. I feel like we've gotten a really nice range of products this time. Like we've had not too many shower gels and not too many lip balms or like overflow of anything. It's been a really nice, Diverse spread. Not the bottom drawer. Oh, it's another cute little one for day 20. I assume this will be another little lip balm. We'll see. Oh, not a lip balm. They're surprising me. 
Oh, more rose stuff though. So for day 20, we've got a Body Shop British Rose Fresh Plumping Mask. Now my, my love of masks has to compete with my hate of rose. <laughs> I don't know what the right solution is if I give this one away or if I try it. it smells very rosy. Day 21's on top as well. I love the ones that are on top. They're so much easier to find. So for day 20, we've got an Almond Milk Hand Balm. 96 hours of moisturizer. I don't know why the other one was only 72 and how they determine that. Like surely you're gonna shower and stuff in between and wash your hands a million times and it's gonna wash off. Mm. Smells good. Smells like the almond scent from the body shop, which makes sense. Ooh. All at the top this time. Day 22. Another super lightweight one. Ooh. And some more Elderweiss. Serum concentrated sheet mask. This one you only need two weeks to look better, but you need to use it twice a week. What are we up to? Day 23. At the top as well! I love the ones at the top. So for day 23, ooh, more, some, some more Himalayan charcoal, skin clarifying night peel. Oh, it's such a cute little bottle. Quite a dark liquid. Makes sense. This one works in two weeks as well. But we actually get enough to use it for two weeks, so that's nice. Day 24, oh, it's not on the top. Let's find it. Not on the bottom, in the middle. Hooray! Oh, it's a heavy one. Let's see what we get for Christmas Eve. Ooh, it's massive. It's huge. So we get a body butter in Shea, Shea. Mmm, it smells good. I find these ones to be quite thick for everyday use. Um, I haven't actually used the body butter that we got last time. I think it, it's a little bit heavy for my skin, so I think it's probably better off in using winter. But it smells nice. I don't know, do you guys use the body butters all through the year, or do you just use them in winter? And we're off to Christmas Day! I love Christmas Day. I don't know, Christmas Day should be the biggest and best, I think. Let's see what we've got. Ooh, we've got... Sleep! I love sleep! Sleep is my favourite! So for day 25, we've got a sleep calming pillow mist with lavender and vetiver. That sounds exciting. Do you reckon I can put it on my children and they'll sleep? That would be even better than me sleeping. Mm. Smells very strong. I got these cute little collars on the bottles. Yeah, it smells much nicer that way. Very lavendery. I've not used a pillow mist. I've heard a lot about them and how great they are, but I've not used one yet. So this will be exciting. Little Christmas treat. So that's it for the Body Shop Advent Calendar. I really, last year we had the Drops of Youth body um, serum, which I really liked the Drops of You serum. I was hoping to get that again this year, but I'm happy to try a mist as well. Lots of new things to try. I do really like the Body Shop advent calendars. I like trying it. They've got lots of really beautiful scents in them. Anyway, let me know what you guys thought of it. Yeah, we've got quite a few exciting ones coming up. I've been having trouble so sourcing some of my calendars. Ah, one of them, it will send to all the postcodes around me, but it won't send to me. So I've got to find a different way to get it to me. <laughs> I'm on a mission and we're gonna do it for you guys. So uh, if you're new around here, please subscribe. Um, come with me on my mission to unbox 10 advent calendars before Christmas. <laughs> we'll see how we go. It's gonna be a little bit stressful, but yeah. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.